What's up guys, my name's Alex and welcome to the Bug Out Life YouTube channel. Hope everyone's doing well and welcome to episode number six. Apologies for the delay in getting this video out. I did just have a baby a few days ago. Slight slowed me down a little bit, but nevertheless, we're gonna get cracked straight back into getting this trailer done. So today's episode, we have some exciting news. Van Glass called me this morning and said they've started to manufacture our walls. So we're gonna get those in probably the next two weeks. What we're gonna do on the trailer today is we're gonna look at getting the clearance lights all wired up. We're also gonna tuck the wiring away for those clearance lights so they're not dangling down near the tires. From there, we're gonna have a look at our number plate. We really need to get that mounted up, but I'm not too happy with the mount that I have at the moment. So we're gonna to have to brainstorm some ideas about that. And a couple other little bits and bobs from there. So stick around and we'll see what we get up to. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna run the wiring from our clearance lights back to our junction box. Now I think the best spot for that is gonna be underneath this crease inside the guard here because the tire can't actually reach that spot there. So that's gonna be a safer spot for our wiring to run. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use our trusty weld on zip tie mounts. Now these are made by a company called Powertech Industries and they're the sponsor of today's video. So big thank you to them. Make sure you guys check them out if you're looking for any kind of off-road buggy parts, off-road car parts, metal fabrication, metal bending, laser cutting, all that kind of stuff. And most importantly, these trusty weld on zip tie mounts because I absolutely love them. But with all that being said, let's get into running this wiring. Alright, so where are we at now? What we've done is we've extended our cable going from our clearance light to our junction box here. We've also tacked on our zip tie holders here from Powertech Industries. They're pretty much good there. We just need to add one more up in here so that this cable doesn't, you know, loosen up and dangle down. And I think we're going to be pretty safe. Uh, so what we'll do from here is we'll attach that, we'll get this wired in, we'll put the sleeve over it and all that good jazz, tie it up and we'll see if they work. All right, and just like that, we're done here. So as you guys can see, what we did is we ran our wiring through that corrugation to protect it. Uh, there's plenty of clearance under there. I'm not worried at all about that tire hitting those cables or those tabs. We uh, connected it into our junction box over there and we're pretty much ready to test out to see if this clearance light works. Awesome, as you guys can see there, that works, no worries. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to the other side, get that side done, and that's our clearance lights finished.
All right guys, so our wiring for the clearance lights is all finished, it's all run, they're all working, no worries, as you guys saw. What I think we'll do now is we'll put the trailer plug on the end of the wiring here, and then what I wanna do is discuss with you guys the rear number plate mounting system. I'm not too happy with what I've ordered here. Uh, this one's for a motorbike, this one's for a vehicle winch. Now this one's pretty much too big, uh, this one's too small, the, the holes don't line up at all. Uh, so I think I might have to custom make something unless you guys know of a specific trailer uh, number plate mounting system uh, that would work perfectly for me. Now I want it to be hinged because if we're on the trail and we hit something, I don't want you know, the number plate snapping off. So I'm thinking it's gonna sit somewhere around here, no lower than the hitch here, so that's protected. And then we'll just have it hinging up. So if you guys have any idea of a good system that would sort me out there, please hit me up in the comments below and I'll check that out. And I think we might revisit this issue in the next video. So what we'll do from here, like I said, is go do the trailer plug and then we might have a look at adjusting our camber and our toe on our suspension and wheels because they're a little bit skewer for the moment. And then we'll see how we're going from there. Beautiful, everything seems to be working just fine. So that's the wiring done. All right guys, it's getting late and it's starting to go dark here. So I'm gonna actually wrap the video up there. Sorry we didn't get as much done as we expected today, but any progress is good progress. What we did on the trailer today is we've got our clearance lights all wired up and our trailer plug wired up. We also put some stickers on the ute here to do a bit of advertising for our YouTube channel. If you guys see me driving around, make sure you give me a honk. If you guys haven't already, please check out my previous videos where I discuss a subscriber giveaway at a thousand subscribers. I think we're about halfway now, so we're doing well. But if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. That's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Thanks so much for sticking around, guys. Peace.